Hi there fellow sea glass lovers, I'm Jackie and today I'm at Jacques Cartier Provincial Park which is in Prince County, Prince Edward Island and I'm going for a walk down the beach. So come along with me, I'll show you the beautiful sights and we'll see what I can find for beach treasures. This is really beautiful. You see all these great big red rocks? That's classic PEI for you. The tide's a little high here, so if you do come for maximum beach walking and sea glass hunting, I would recommend coming at low tide. I didn't manage that today, so that will probably affect my treasure hunting. This is what the rocky area looks like here. I'm gonna find a few shells, a few little rocks. Not seeing any sea glass today. Shells like that are kind of cool. I see footprints, someone's been down here. So if there was any sea glass, it may have already been picked up. It's hard to get to any beach before anybody else. Everyone loves the beach. The waves are gorgeous today. So I found a few seashells. I found this stone that's kind of pretty with a white strip through the middle of it. But I haven't had any luck with the sea glass here today. So the erosion in PEI can be quite extensive. So when you look at what they've done here is they've put all of these natural PEI rocks along the shore in an attempt to save the park from falling into the sea through erosion. And it seems to be doing quite a good job. I'm sure it slows the erosion down a little bit. On a day like today, the waves are laughing fairly gently. But when it storms, the storm surge along here can just be vicious. You'd never know it on a day like today. So I'm going to try going down the beach in the other direction. It looks a little bit drier and maybe I'll have a little bit more luck with my treasure hunt. There's some really cool pieces of driftwood standing up in the side of the ocean. Very rugged. I love that look. So here's some more erosion busting attempts. There's actually a wall built here as a way to protect the landscape here from being washed out into the sea. The beach here is really quite beautiful. It's very sandy. We're down the beach a ways now and I still haven't found a piece of sea glass, but enjoying a really beautiful walk on the beach. And then as you get down to the beach a little bit further, kind of tapers off, but you could still get around that point there. And in behind, there's a little stream. And when you follow the stream up, there is a little pond, a fairly big pond. I don't know if that's big enough to qualify as a lake, but it could be in behind the beach. Very beautiful. You can see all the mirum grass growing there. Finally, it's a piece of glass. However, it's not well finished. So that is my first piece of sea glass on this beach hunt. I have found a few little pebbles that are pretty cute too. There we go, sea glass piece number two. Two big white pieces today. So you'll have to take my word for it, but there is some funky smell here right now. I'm not sure if it's some dead sea life or sulfur or something, 
but you get that when you're at the beach. Sometimes you get some pretty crazy smells. So my sea glass hunt today resulted in two pieces of sea glass. You got a few interesting little pebbles, two interesting little shells, but all in all, not an overly productive sea glass beach but a beautiful beach walk just the same. I highly recommend putting this on your list if you have a chance to come here. Jacques Cartier Provincial Park in Kildare Capes, Prince Edward Island. Thanks so much for joining me for this beach walk. I really hope you enjoyed it and that you join me next time and I'll take you to explore yet another beautiful beach. And in the meantime, I hope you make it out to the beach where you are and happy sea glass hunting.